They take your name. And they, they give you a number. That's how it started. I was the best, though. Yeah, you were. I was, bro. But I never got a chance to prove that. Look, all I'm saying, bro, if Apollo Creed could take a chance on some underdog, why can't you? You're watching Black Tree on TV. Uh, Jalen Coleman, Black Tree TV. So, I saw the film Friday, man. Okay. Really phenomenal. I think this should be in talks of like best actor, director, directorial, de directorial debuts. Oh, um, thank you, man. Appreciate no, that. man, you really. I love the anime influences you had in it. I think the choices you made are really bold. So again, really, oh, really loved it. Thanks, um, I feel like people often forget that you were a child actor first. Okay. And, <laughs> and, and you know, like a lot of times, child actors kind of go off the rails, unfortunately. Uh, but you, <laughs> you maintained. <laughs> Your sanity. Not only that, you kind of your star just gets bigger and bigger, but you're still, you know, you. You're still humble, and you're still, um, you know, still you. What do you attribute that to? My family. Yeah, I think just you know, just how I was raised, and just kind of yeah. you know, just yeah, man. Just got, and gradually, I guess, learning and growing. You know, I didn't get everything too too fast. You know, I think it was just something that I just kind of always been from stepping stone to stepping stone. Just always been curious. Um, and wanting to evolve and grow and learn, you know, so, 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 uh, yeah, but I think my parents kind of like gave me a nice little foundation. Yeah. That's good. That always, you know, that always helps. That helps. Um, the, uh, the film deals with, and even uh, the Killmonger role, deals with black rage that we have, you know, as black men, that is justified rage, but we can't really address or have a healthy outlet for at times. Mm. Was that your intention with this film and the roles you, you know, you picked? I think I'm trying to say something with everybody. You know, I think, you know, Killmonger was a certain part of a conversation, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But like, you know, um, that we needed to have and, 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 and T'Challa was the other, you know, side of that conversation that we needed to have. Yeah. And I think there was no right or wrong. I think there was, you know, there was a lot of gray area, you know, and that's what life lives in, you know, that gray area. Yeah. And, um, and I was lucky enough to represent that one side of the conversation. Um, I feel like, you know, with this character, Adonis, he represents something else, you know, um, you know, and, and wanting to, and, and Damien does as well. Yeah. And the idea around systems and, you know, nature versus nurture, you know, and, and, and what does that look like, you know, with one of our heroes, you know, how is he challenged in a real way? What does childhood trauma look like for us? What does toxic masculinity look like for us? What is like, you know, being emotional and vulnerable and talking, what does that look like? Yeah. Um, and, you know, having that black experience and understanding what that is, um, you know, and to organically, naturally put it in the story where it makes sense. Um, what does black love look like? You know what yeah. I'm saying? What is, what is, you know, what does that family look like? What does the black ASL family look like? You know, there's so many, you know, tropes that are in there that I kind of wanted to talk about, and we got a chance to organically do that. Is there something else you want to tell me? <sighs> D, you have got to open up at some point. I don't know what else to tell you. What I you need to understand to what is what you going want to hear? on. Some sad story? You trying to feel sorry for me or no, something? No, I don't want to feel sorry for you. I want to understand you. I want to know what is going on There's with you in my about. house. Jay. I don't want to talk about anything. I've been trying to forget it. It's dead. Leave it. Leave it. Let it lie. I'm not talking about that shit no more. You figure out your shit, D. Because what cannot happen is her seeing you like this. Do you understand? This is part uh, shameless plug, but also genuine question. Uh, mm -hmm. This film deals with the Crabs in a bu Bucket mentality. I'm shooting my first feature film this year titled Crabs in a Bucket. Dope. And watching this really, uh, you know, it was inspiring and, and motivating. What responsibility do you feel um, as someone who is at a certain level to kind of reach back and help uh, help others? Oh, man, well, if you know me, you know, that's what I'm about. You know, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, creating vehicles for other people, trying to create opportunities, you know what I'm saying, for, for, for other people. Like, I enjoy putting people on, you know what I mean, and, and putting them in position to win. Uh, and directing, which is kind of like another, I guess, another you know, version of that. 
um, try to see, get the most out of people um, and bring the best out of them, I, th I think is something that I enjoy doing. Uh, and the next generation, man, they, they, you know, they're, they're the future, man. Yeah. That's what they're, they're supposed to fix things. Absolutely. So, they're supposed to help <laughs> us, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. but leading by example and being a good role model is like, you know, um, it's, part of, it's part of the gig too, it's part of who I am. So I just try to make best decisions that I can and, um, and be mindful of that. Yeah. And, and that's, that's the most important thing. Well, I'm looking forward to everything you have in the future, man. Oh, man. More directing and absolutely. Appreciate it, bro. Absolutely.